President Obama has defended his administration's sweeping surveillance program in response to reports revealing the unprecedented scale of spying on America's phone and internet activity. The U.S. leader said the encroachment on people's privacy was modest and necessary for the country's security. His remarks, however, led to some Congress members accusing him of betraying the values he once advocated. Anastasia Chirkina reports from the U.S. In a massive leak on the extent of surveillance on hundreds of millions of people, dubbed uh, breathtaking by civil rights groups and outraged Americans, more revelations on what exactly U.S. officials have been popping into the light. Uh, America's National Security Agency has been using three of the biggest U.S. telecom companies, Verizon, AT&T, and Sprint, to monitor all phone calls made by subscribers. Now, combined, keep in mind, these three companies have a staggering almost 300 million customers. And the spying is reportedly done regardless of whether or not there's reason to suspect subscribers of any criminal activity. And this is, of course, shocking. This includes all of the phone calls being made within the United States, as well as between the U.S. and foreign countries, making really the scope of this tracking system even wider than American territory. And, of course, this all comes at a time after the Obama administration acknowledged the existence of an NSA and FBI program dubbed PRISM. In a nutshell, this program, uh, what it entails is nine major Internet companies that include Google, Facebook, Yahoo, Microsoft, Skype, YouTube, Apple, AOL, and PalTalk have been used by U.S. officials to monitor photos, videos, emails, and audio, and all other sorts of information, tracking a really sweeping scope of individuals' online activity. And the NSA is, of course, uh, you know, traditionally understood to gather foreign intelligence, so the tracking of hundreds of millions of Americans' online mm. accounts on U.S. territory through American companies is certainly a huge revelation to uh, put it mildly. But because of the popularity of these web companies such as Google and Facebook, for instance, it's absolutely obvious that uh, communication spied upon does not just include Americans. And overall, just staggering, all-consuming monitoring of personal data that is a major eye-opening example of what Obama's administration has been up to. We have heard comments from Europe, uh, namely Germany, for example, about the need to clarify the scope of this U.S. program. Uh, questions are also being asked about the extent of the knowledge of the British government uh, in terms of what kind of knowledge it had on this surveillance activity and how it might have cooperated and dealt with the U.S. on this as well. And uh, it's important to note that online freedom fighting group Anonymous has leaked a total of 13 documents. Uh, curiously, uh, one of them, the U.S. Department of Defense so-called strategic vision for controlling the Internet, and uh, on an intelligence sharing network which shares data with partners around the world. And Obama's comments on this major scandal have also been pretty curious. Uh, basically, the U.S. president, in a nutshell, says that absolute security cannot walk hand in hand with privacy and lack of inconvenience. And, uh, you know, putting aside the claim of, uh, quote, absolute security in the U.S., certainly something that uh, has reason to be widely questioned, this seems to be a statement completely opposing a belief voiced by uh, founding father Benjamin Franklin that those willing to give up liberty for some safety don't deserve either one. But apparently the roots of the American history that the country prides itself in now irrelevant as Obama's administration tries to wash off the amount of dirt released under a leader who swore by transparency as well as presented U.S. practices of democracy to the rest of the world as absolutely stellar. Well, this is not the first time the National Security Agency has come under fire for methods infringing people's rights. We spoke to William Beeney, who worked for the agency for 30 years and helped expose some of its practices. He told us that the sweeping nature of the program can, in fact, make ensuring security more difficult. It's a direct violation of the Constitution. It always has been. That's why I left NSA in 2001. They started to do this. In fact, it, it, it adds more, more of a problem because what that means, quite simply, is if you go into a larger database, uh, you get more data back no matter what the query is. It's like making a query with Google. If you go in with a Google query, you can get tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands or even a million returns. Well, there's no way you can go through that all of that to see what, what you're really interested in. So what that does is it complicates it in that way, makes them really a less, less proficient at doing their jobs. Well, all of that's being borne by the taxpayer. Now, the U.S. government is likely to open a criminal investigation into the leak that revealed the scope of the surveillance operation to British and American newspapers. Paul Rosenberg, the author of the Free Men's Perspective newsletter, thinks despite this bombshell, most Americans are still in denial over the state of things. The problem with the people in the U.S. right now 
is that they're not emotionally prepared to deal with the possibility of an electronic police state. Uh, it's just something that they've never, that, that's something that happened in East Germany. It's something that happened in China, but they never think such a thing is possible in America. And it's a good question of how many people will just find a reason to pass it off. There was terrorism 100 years ago, there was terrorism 30 years ago. Um, these organizations spent billions before 9-11, they spent billions before the 7-7 bombings, they spent additional billions before the Boston bombings, and they occurred just the same. There's going to be terrorism 100 years from now, too. So it's a fallacious trade to say, oh, give us all, give us all of your privacy and we'll give you security. They haven't done it and they can't.